comes to the west side of the No, no. Coast to coast. Coast to coast. There we are. You know <laughs> Rob Nunes, yeah. Yeah, here we come. See you later. <laughs> And he sent me neck there. There we go. First big hill. Bison bees. Are you sorted? No. <laughs> what the hell? Just when you thought it was all flat paths, <laughs> grassy, grassy slopes. <laughs> me taking you, taking me. Yeah. Take two. Oh. This is the first sight of the lakes. It's not actually because I forgot to press record, but um, yes, there we're heading tomorrow. Nice picture of the hedge in the way. Anyway, hopefully it's uh, not as cloudy tomorrow. <laughs> Cut. Here's another test for the, the different look. It's not as hard as you think, is it? <laughs> To the lakes in the distance there. What do you think that is? Cleet and Mewa? Cleet and Mewa. Lovely little tracks are coming down. Nice variation already. There you are, there's our leader. Mr. Wayne Wright, I presume. Seven miles done, how many is that left? Only 185. Oh, yeah. 100 way. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> yes, 184. Put your glasses on. Just come past this church here. Yeah. Nice little sign for it. Big solid church, lovely. Yep, we're getting a good deal of the deal, aren't we? Yeah, black hole going down, bursting the flames. <laughs> Ignore him being silly. <laughs> well, this is the benefits of doing it this time of year. Just look at that. Like a dip with feet in if, uh, if I had a bit more time, I think. It's getting rather warm. Plenty of science here, you know? Yeah, I think we're doing alright. So oh, they're super tasty, you know that? You'll be whizzing up that hill in a minute. I'm going to be running up and down it twice now. <laughs> I hope if it tastes that bad. <laughs> Just to be sick. <laughs> they're awful. Oh well, I look forward to that then. <laughs> I'm nice squeezing every last drop, will like. <laughs> oh. It is hot. First day and we are knackered. <laughs> We've had an early rise about many hours traveling, about three, three and a bit, four hours traveling. Yeah, easy. And there's been quite a few descents or uh, descents, ascents. Not too much further anyway. So it'd be nice to get pitched up, paint the cider in the making, I think. Looking forward to that. Right, on top of Dent Hill now. It's like some of the the fog ones is. I think that must be Salah Field over there. Good 360 around. This would be a good camping spot. Ian's on his way up. I saw him just go up ahead. He's just gonna take his time. 
his back's clearing up. He had a bit of bother with it last year, but he's got grit, so he'll manage no ball. He'll get there. I think I've probably just got another couple of hours to go to Enadiel Bridge. So, I think I'll be downhill now. I hope there's nobody coming the other way. Oh, oh not good. There's no passing places. <laughs> Bridge <laughs> well, that's the first day over. Oh, we're in a good hope. <laughs> um, well, I was about 12 miles away, so. <laughs> I was no, 12 hours ago. 12 hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be right there. Well, well, anyway, first day oh. over. Let's hope it gets a bit better. We've got with beers, got the evening meal booked. I think we've got the breakfast booked. Yes. And the little campsite just along there looks canny, so nice little beer garden. All happy. And hopefully a good night's sleep, which I doubt. <laughs> yeah. This has come through a little tent pitch first thing in the morning. Loads of condensation. Knew that because it was uh, no wind last night. There's Ian Hall, super fresh. Had 12 hours sleep. Wow. <laughs> Maybe 12 minutes. Uh, two land shans there, don't know, right? Just mopped them off, haven't we? Coming up with an ideal water. We've just stopped at Enadiel Bridge last night. Lovely pub, Fox and Hounds. And there's not a breath of wind, is there? Not a thing. Lovely, absolutely gorgeous. Really so we've got the first, I'll try not to trip over this, but that's the first view of Enadiel Water. Lovely. And I think we are going on the far side. It's meant to be a little track, so um, the man in the pub, he was telling us if we went on that side, it's very craggy. And apparently somebody slipped and fell off and died, so that was a good enough reason not to go that way. Dot. Oh yeah, I can hear them. Right on the shores of Ennerdale Water there now. It is lovely and quiet. Some people over there, that's probably nearly a mile away, isn't it? You can hear them? Yeah. Right, listen to the silence. Absolutely gorgeous. I've had me fried egg for breakfast, but looks as if I got another one, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to keep your fuel up. Hurry, boys. Mm. It is so hot here. Just tent us. And we are sweltering, aren't we? Red hot. No breeze at all. Nah. Midges are out. But, when somewhere like this, it's what you want. Looking back there. Excellent. It is thirsty work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yes, you can probably gone through about four liters a day. Mm. Look <sighs> Hello. Morning. Hi. 
Right, we have a choice to the left, to the right. What do you reckon? I reckon. Right. You would think, wouldn't you? Looks like it. Doesn't say. I'm ready for this one. Thai green corn. Tent meals. Doesn't sound like appetizer, does it? No. I think I like the view at the, uh, the front better than the view at the back. You're putting a port in? That'll make a deal, look what I mean. I've got more water. <laughs> got a bit of water, this mixed in. Look at that, he's a slob. <laughs> yeah, water in there. What's going on, yeah? He's a soup. Hello there. Hello there. Okay. Sorry, but the, the race hadn't so went the proper race yet. I've got Christmas, I think it's really awful. Yeah, well. Great. Anyway, there's the view. Not a bad view for having your dinner, is it? Mm. Yeah, we'll have the latest version of Pedigree Chum. <laughs> <laughs> Dean couldn't hack it, so it's left to me to sort it out yet again. If it's not his burnt porridge, I've got to eat this for him. Mmm. Mmm. It's gorgeous, you I've got a lot of you first. No, I know you like it. <laughs> well, I've got quite the claim up here. This is going up now. Fleet with them then, honest I slate man. But it's quite a way. There is a few steps in, I don't know if that helps or not. But we'll get there, won't we, Ian? We will. We will. <laughs> some day. One day, some day. <laughs> Absolutely glorious here. The only day we're actually hoping for cloud instead of sun, because it's been sweltering at times. Oh, this is rough, yeah, man, isn't it? You see it? In the fall of the field. Little dots on the top there. Hey, little lands. Hey, look there. Oh, I'll go on this. Now watch your step. There's some pretty little flowers there, all the way up. Not a little awkward. Awkward? Awkward even. We're now coming off Fleetwith and we're heading down to Honesta Slate Mine. And apparently, these is the old, this is the old tramway, so obviously, what sleep has in that. And across there, there's another, like, I think that's more modern roadway, but you've got the Slate Mine on top. All the way, different ones. And then there's the, the house and the visitor centre down the bottom. Just be a little speck on this. Right down. So it's on a fat valley. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> How much is that Ian? With five pound or something? That's, well, actually, that's, um, that's two pounds there, that chunk you've just eaten. <laughs> <laughs> in honest, I sleep in at the minute. Just had my cake, so feeling better. Quite a route up there. There's a road, just seen a car come down from there. I certainly wouldn't let you drive it. But yeah, right the spot. Probably just another three miles to get to Rothwyat. At least we're going downhill. Yeah. For now. I think Ross Rate we're next. Camping spot is about a couple of miles maybe. Alright, okay. So not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, <laughs> Coach! <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad little view from the tent, is it? Was it called Chopper Farm? Chopper yeah. Farm, yeah. Chopper Farm, Right, back on the trail again. Had a good night at Chapel Farm campsite. And we're going to... Where are we going, Ian? Today, Paladio. Paladio. Yeah, part of the deal, hitting the grass there first, we'll buy a grass. Get some gingerbread there, eh? Stock of gingerbread. Yep. So I think we've got a big claim up here. Can't see it, but if you can see the top of the mountains up there, I think we're going up like a valley in the middle. Two bigger scents of deer. So I see how it goes. One was bad enough yesterday, wasn't it? <laughs> one was horrendous yesterday. <laughs> and this one, apparently it's even steeper, so see how it goes. Cannot wait. <laughs> it's uh, so quiet here though isn't it? Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Hit on with the weather. Let's hope it continues. It's meant to be 20 degrees today. Um, hopefully it's not. <laughs> but more than likely. So at least it's better than getting wet and cold. Wet. Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> It's not even nine o'clock yet, you know, and it's starting to get hot, isn't it? Yeah, mate. I'm praying for cloud to come across. Some of the locals. Morning. Not speaking. Okay. Yeah. Well, this next bit looks fun, doesn't it? Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> waterfall. Everybody loves a waterfall. That's where we're being. And that's where we're going. Now I can't see a lot of the path up here, so Dion knows which way we'll go here, Ian. I'm saying Dion knows which way we'll go here. I can see it there, but yeah. whether it goes to the right there. Uh, oh, hopefully. Uh, hopefully to the right. Here we go. Well, this bit looks fun. Got to go to the left, just go to the left of this, and it is super steep. Lining Crag, I think it's called. So, yep, yeah, great fun. At least the sun's kept in. I don't know if you can see it, but that's where we've been. 
there's somebody coming up. Probably overtake one. <laughs> Most people haven't got extra bags that we've got. A couple of Dutch lads past them again. Young and fit, unlike us. <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> anyway, let's concentrate on the matter at hand. There's Ian flying up like a little jack rabbit again. With his towel hanging up the back end. <laughs> All right. Thumbs up. <laughs> what grit that man's got. <laughs> what a view, what a view. There now, he is. Now it's a view. The man, the myth. <laughs> oh, it's a view, Harry. Right. <laughs> and I'll try and go on the edge and not fall over. Anybody coming up yet? Yeah, maybe it'll say a little ant down there, somewhere down there. Massive valley. See for absolutely miles. And I think we're up, what was it, 600 meters? Probably 800. I don't know how many. Anyway, happy days. That's nice. Oh, that's nice pizza. Nice. <laughs> Where's the cheese gone? I'll take beers now, don't I? <laughs> that was nice as last night. Yeah. Not many people are eating pizza with a view like this. No. It's a bit chilly now for you, I think. It is, man. People are right on the top of there, son. That was a rocky bit. Oh, yeah, I see them high, yeah. Going across the top. Mad. Well, heading for Grasmere now. I am um, eight days, half past twelve. So luckily, me cold pizza kept us going. Ian's hanging back a bit, unfortunately, he's having um, bad back trouble. And his foot's gone a bit. So I'm going to trot ahead and dip my feet in the stream new socks on because my feet are on fire it's been hard work coming across all these rocks all the way so hopefully by the time i get the new ones on he'll be caught up time for the booties off oh, looking forward to this Feels tremendous, absolutely tremendous. After that, anything feels good. Hello there, how are you? Sorry? Oh, you good? Yeah, you're good, yeah. Where are you heading? Um, Patterdale. Oh, I've just yeah. come from there. Have you heard? Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. How, how long will it take to get from uh, Patterdale to? Uh, well, not if you have a stop in Grasmere, which I encourage. Heidi's um, Cafe is really good. Heidi's Cafe, brilliant, yeah, brilliant. Um, and then, oh, what would I say? You know, three hours. Well, that's not bad. Maybe three a hours. bit more. Four hours straight. I've gone for four. Give yourself four hours. Any big ascent? Yeah, from from Grasmere, you go up. There's a traverse, but it's gradual. Good, okay, excellent. It's not a, it's not a monster. Because the, the one back there out of Rossbridge, that was quite high coming yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, I know that well. So, yeah. Lennon Crag, where you come around and up. Lennon Crag, I was called yeah. Lennon Crag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it is. Yeah. No, I'm going down that. Uh -huh. So, uh, right. fingers crossed we get. Yeah. Unless I'll, I'll just wild camp somewhere. Great, brilliant. Yeah. Okay, yeah, right. Okay, Cheers okay. now, tell out. That's handy to know, isn't it? Yeah. Heidi's coffee. Oh. Is that, is that the tree root, isn't it? Yeah. Damn me. Bloody kids. Sick them already. Oh. Beautiful. Oh. 
But as far as bridges goes, that's a gun. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Very quaint. In the bridging circles around the world, there's probably a gun. Nice Lovely little babbling brook. Any little trouties? Ah, oh, glorious. I've probably videoed about a hundred streams already. <laughs> People would be bored. What a wonderful sight. Grasmere. Let's hope Heidi's cafe has plenty of seats left. Yeah. Well, it's about... It's about five o'clock here on Thursday. Heading for Patterdale now. Been to Grasmere. I think we've got the dearest jack of potato ever. 13 pound. Probably nearly 14 pound. Um, it was worth it though. <laughs> it tasted lovely. But we're heading over the top here, I think it's seat sand on the left, and over at the Grise the old town. Very quiet. Nearly to the top. Oh, how fresh is that? I'd love to put my feet in again, but haven't really got time. Poor Ian is crippled with his back and his foot. So, it's nearly 25 to 6. We'll crack around, but that's uh, in the distance, can I say? It would be around the corner, and that would have been Grasmere. So, let's take a little while to come up here. Only seen one person. You're at the top. Right in, kind of have some of your words of wisdom here for getting to the top. In five minutes. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> okay, thanks for that. Look back down. Another dry stone wall. I think that's Fairfield at the top, but we're coming at the Grisdale Town here at the bottom. There'll be some people camping. It's so calm here, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Another, another breath of wind up here, either. Nothing. Unbelievable. Absolutely nothing. You're with the weather big time. So, I'm going to go over the top here, we'll head to Patterdale, hopefully not too far now. It is gorgeous here. Shame I can't have a night here. Not too far to Patterdale anyway, down the valley. Look at that. Look at that. I think it's about a mile, mile and a half to home. Looking forward to it. It's seven o'clock now. I think we've been walking for about 11 hours. Had a break of grass in here. But uh, both ready for we're, we're camp now. You, can, you start off phone and laughter, joking on. As the day wears on, you get quieter and quieter and more serious. <laughs> But once again, nice hot shower, food, drink, be all good again. I think I've eventually spotted the campsite. Yeah, mate, I've done about 12 hours of walking the day. Typical midges out. And that's the very end of those water. So. Getting some canny spots for camping. There it is, right up there. It's on the other side of Glen Ridding at uh, Water. It's gorgeous. Certainly come back here again. There's not many people in the campsite. Seems unusual. Well, I bet it's left in the summer. There, right there, Ian. Have you found it? Ian's found it. Done really well, bad feet and bad back, and well, I got Everything. bad something. <laughs> anyway, anyway, tonight had these before tent meals, they are absolutely horrendous. But, um, a bit of Italian the night, so boil me water up. Is the tip 
Just want to shower and bathe and do it all over again tomorrow. Mint. Good night. <laughs>